The iPhone 11 has been my daily driver for the last two years and it has served me very well, whether it's playing games, consuming media, and just doing regular tasks, this phone does it well. Now, when it comes on to games, it does lack with some performance, but other from that, it is great. But no further, we're gonna go over this phone and seeing if this is still worth buying in 2023, if this hardware and the, the phone itself with their specs and everything still is worth buying for anybody that's looking a budget phone in 2023 with no further ado let's get into this video now the first thing we talk about is the design now this phone sports a rounded corners glass to glass which is glass in the back glass in the front that is a gorilla glass i think three and it has a 6.1 inch lcd multi-touch display that is basically ips technology as they say it also has a 17.92 by 828 pixel resolution at 626 ppi so what does that mean for you it's an amazing screen with really good color it's not as fast as the iphone 14 or 14 pro max but it does hold up today in today's standards of screens now this screen is not very bright and it doesn't have a high resolution screen but this does look pretty much identical to other iphones you won't miss anything if you're just consuming media and taking photos or playing games, you won't see the difference and I definitely don't think you'll miss out on a lot. This phone was modeled off the Typhoon X, which is the basically 10, and it had that same notch and basically that same resolution screen. Those round corners with that back glass and having two cameras on the back, which was really nice. Now it also has a A13 Bionic chip and has basically six cores CPU and four cores GPU. Now, how does it translate with performance? Now, when I've used this phone doing just daily tasks, this phone performs well. I have no problem with browsing, browsing the web, going on apps, Instagram, everything performs smoothly and I've never had any problem with this. Uh, when it comes on to games, some demanding games do make this phone run really hot so if you're playing let's say PUBG or maybe Diablo Immortals at max settings it will definitely make this phone run hot and you will, it will play well with Diablo but it will still have a few stutters for PUBG it won't let you even go to the highest spec and if you max it to the highest spec with maybe the highest frame rate it will definitely run hot and it will start bugging on the phone so it doesn't handle everything the best but even though it doesn't handle everything it still performs with great prowess being able to handle day-to-day -day task and do a little gaming and do some editing on the side with no problem and the next thing we'll be talking is about the price the price is about four hundred dollars and a little less than four hundred dollars this is what this phone is going for and i definitely think you guys can pick this up and still beat a lot of budget phones in that price range now on to the battery life i've had this phone for two years now and i can attest to this phone being a really good battery consumer it basically lasts me eight hours minimum and even a little bit over eight hours and then I have to put it on the charger. But I say this phone can really handle a lot when it comes down to battery life. Uh, probably in days where you're doing a lot more gaming intensive tasks or probably watching a little bit more media consistently, this might bring that eight hours usage to probably maybe six hours or six and a half hours. But I still think this battery life is really good. Now, on to the conclusion of this video. And I think this phone is worth the buy because obviously I wouldn't have stayed with this phone for two years. And I like the form factor that it's not a big phone. And I've really got accustomed to this specific size. And I love how it's not too small. It's just perfect in the hands and I can get my photos correct at any time. It shoots really good with photos and videos. And I know I didn't mention this video itself, but 
this shoots 4k 60 on both cameras back and forward and i think you will definitely enjoy this package of a phone now that's gonna be it for today's video hope you guys enjoy this one and hope you guys stay tuned for more just like this one but that's it for today's video and i'll see you guys peace